لبد نورة أنقذ أمقى خوت تقايم البابا بطورة من هين الزمن تأيو خشمية أعطو رايا خاتة بريلة من يقروتة دقلبة شنة كبنا وصاوة وسني قوتة دبل التاريخ من تقارد النيشة وأمتا الدين برقنة قاسل باند ها قوياتي قاسل ماند كل أمواتي شلام وإيلي قل لو بومبا قاسل واني زودا إتلي إن بقروخ بنا إيكيوت من دمتا فت ديدي أمرت بتجاوب لخ بشاري روتا لا تيارايا ولا تخمنايا لا بني دشتا ولا بني طورا يعقوبايا وكلدانايا ونسطرنايا وبروسبترايا وبزيليون وبقالا راما طامر قاتخ أختي إيون أعطو رايا تغبت خيي مو بتلاوش إيك بمايت هيك لي تخمن كتبر من مبتاتج وانقب طيني جكب تمر الشار لبو بإيدو وكتاو منو بخداريلي ومكروزيلي بكيان آتر بإيتو تآتر بخيلة ودمة بشمة آشر وبيماريل أنا؟ أنا برين من قنبر يا أي أر أو أها شمشا أنا وين من قمزونة لتلي موتا لتلي رمشا أنا إيون كخوض آطر قبة نهر بلبو صيل أنا إيون آلاها آشر قغلة دوري مخدوريو أنا وين شراية بهر الألم التيول منهوريو مجدد يوم أنا لتن نيخب نيخا بتلاقيو لا والبايد لا آطر بيشو زونة بشادة آطر بقيمة و تاريخ بساغب آطر بيشة و برجة بياسق آطر بيشة و هيج للأبلا Welcome everyone. Thank you for taking the time to join us today. I am sitting here today with Marfono Sabri Atman who founded Seifo Center US along with his supporters. Seifo Center strives to bring awareness to the genocide of 1915 which was um, committed against the Assyrians, Armenians, and Greeks. The genocide of 1915 is recognized as the first genocide of modern times. However, it has yet to be acknowledged or recognized by its perpetrators. My father, Marfono Ninos Ajo, was the honorary ambassador of Seifo Center. This cause is very near and dear to both he and Marfono Sabri's hearts. Seifo Center has educated thousands of people about this genocide and the atrocities that were committed. Today, I am going to sit with Marfono Sabri and discuss what works are being done by Safeway Center US and how we as a community can help Safeway Center and support them and how we can raise awareness of this important topic. Hi Marfono, how are you doing today? Thank you. Good to be with you. Thank you. Amram. Thank you. Marfono, what was the goal of creating Safeway Center? Uh, Safeway Center in general, we want to raise awareness about the Assyrian genocide, about our history. And this, uh, the Safeway Center was established 2003 in Europe, and the Safeway Center US was established around 2008. And during that, Marfono Ninosaho was one of the founders of the Safeway Center. Uh, do you have a lot of people helping you with Safeway Center? Do you have difficulties with what Safeway Center is trying to do? Are there people in your way trying to stop what you're doing? This work, Safeway, Assyrian Genocide, I'm not doing it by myself. Always, I have good people around me. And uh, to be honest with you, uh, without the support of Assyrian, Assyrians, we were not able to do uh, almost anything. Uh, I am working very active, but I have a lot of people behind me. And uh, of course, there are some people uh, for some reason oppose Seifo Center and the work that we are doing, uh, the deniers, Turks, and uh, others, of course, they try to do their best to stop us, but we are stronger than them. 
Uh, Malfono, you say for Center is working hard to bring recognition to the genocide that happened. Can you talk a little bit about what Safo Center U.S. is doing in the United States and how far you have come in the U.S.? For example, here in U.S., uh, we have been in Washington, in New York, in Chicago, in Massachusetts, all California. We gave presentations to Assyrians, non-Assyrians, in order to bring awareness about our cause. And we have very good relationship with Armenian, Greeks, and American. Uh, we do lobby, we publish books, we do documentaries, and these they are tools to raise uh, awareness about the Assyrian genocide. And uh, we do activism. Uh, August 7 is the Martyr Day. We participate with the Assyrian organization in the U.S. And soon we will participate with the Assyrian Association here in Southern California. Uh, August 12th, we have uh, we are organizing uh, a mini uh, walk in uh, Golden Gate, and I feel like uh, I guess we will be around 200 people. And uh, this all what we are doing to uh, bring awareness about to raise awareness about the Assyrian genocide. Malfona, why is it important for people to know about the Assyrian genocide and to know what happened? This is a good question. Uh, Assyrian genocide, it is our history. And uh, 1915, they killed over 400,000 people. 1933, 2014, all our history, there are many safe, many genocides. This is the reason our number is less and less in the in Assyria, but we are in Australia, we are in America, we are in Europe, and we are struggling to exist, and because of the SAFO, because of the genocide, and this is very significant part of our history. People who doesn't have history, they will be assimilated very easy. So when we know about our history, then our identity also will be strong. Our youth, they need to know about their past so they can have a future. So we, we want to bring awareness about the Assyrian genocide because we want to have a future. Malfona, like you said, because of our genocide, Assyrians are dispersed all over the world. Why do you think um, Turkey today, Turkish government, is not recognizing that the genocide happened? There are many reasons why Turkey denies the Armenian, Assyrian, and Greek genocide. They, first of all, why they did the genocide? Why they committed the genocide? Why the Kurds participated on the killing of the Assyrians and Armenians? They want to homogenize Turkey, to make one nation with one flag, with one language, with one religion, one nation. They killed our people. Not only that, they also they took our properties. Not only that, they destroy our identity. They destroy our language. And also they destroy our future to be together, to be a nation. And uh, Talat Pasha and Ver Pasha, Jamal Pasha, they were the main killer, organizer of the Assyrian, Armenian and Greek genocide. For us, they are criminals, but for many Turks, they are heroes. Yeah. And uh, one of the reasons that they denied the genocide is because this is part of their identity. And they don't want to admit their grandfathers, they were criminals. But for us, they were like Adolf Hitler in Germany. And the second reason could be the compensation policy. If they admit the genocide, then they have to pay for that. And they, they have many other reasons also why they deny the genocide they commit against our people. Safo Center and a few other organizations have succeeded in getting some states and some uh, governments to acknowledge that the genocide did happen, even though Turkey continues to deny it. Um, I know here in California, we've managed to get that uh, acknowledgement. What are some of the states in the United States that have ac accepted the genocide? There are 48 states that uh, recognize the Armenian genocide, and there are three states that recognize the Assyrian genocide, Iowa, Indiana, and California. And in the future, there will be more. 
that recognize the Assyrian genocide uh, because of our power. Our power is not that power that the Armenian have. Armenian, they are well organized. They have scholars. They have their politicians. They have their uh, business. They have their uh, people who support them financially. And we have less support. Uh, but I, in my belief, uh, in the future we will be stronger than that. Turkey is a strong country. They have 80 million population. There is Azerbaijan behind them uh, for strategic reason. There are many other nations they support Turkey uh, and they deny. Uh, but I will tell you, we are stronger than them. And this is the reason. There are eight countries in Europe and others, Armenia, Greece, etc. They recognize the Assyrian genocide. In the future, these countries, they will increase. The last few years here in the United States, um, and I know specifically in California, we've been working a little closer with the Armenians yeah. on April 24th. Um, can you talk a little bit about that? I, for many years, we are working together. The first time, they were a little, little bit skeptic when we said that also uh, Assyrians, because for many of them, they didn't see Assyrians, they were working for this. And suddenly, when we came, when we established Safer Center and with many other organizations that we have, and uh, they start to recognize us, to work together with us, and they are very happy for that. And uh, I think Republic of Armenia, 2015, when they recognized the Assyrian genocide, was turning pound that uh, Armenian, they were simply with the recognition, we were saying we were not the only victims in 1915. Also uh, Greeks and Assyrians, they were with us. So this message uh, was taken by many Armenians in diaspora, in uh, California, in America too. So we participate in all their activities. They invite us to their activities. Next week, I will go and see some congressmen and some Armenians will be there too. I got the invitation by Armenian organization to be among them. And uh, 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 last 20, April 24, I was in Sacramento. I was the first Assyrian that was able to go inside in the assembly. And I was recognized there as the president of the Safer Center and they recognized the Assyrian genocide. Now we are focusing that California, uh, the parliament in Sacramento, will commemorate the Assyrian genocide next uh, April 24. And we will do it. It's very important for our community, especially for our youth, uh, to get involved. So I just want to let our viewers know, if you guys would like to get involved, you can check out Safeway Center on uh, their Facebook page with all the upcoming events. Um, the biggest one right now being upcoming um, the Golden Gate Bridge walk. There's also mm -hmm. August 7th, there's a Martyr's Day commemoration. All that information will be on the Safeway Center page. And also coming out and marching with the Armenians because we are being invited and it's very important to show our numbers. Uh, it's very important for our youth to remember our identity. Um, and right now I'd just like to take a pause and uh, watch a, a video clip from my dad, Malfono Nino Sajo. Go Chicago, Yerhad. كانون قامايا تلتصر بيو ألبو اتشموشوي أربا خدام شتوثد إقارة الرابي وليم دانيل كاتاوا قطيني وموسيقورة بشتيلا وطا كتولي الإقارة الرابي وليم دانيل ماني ماني شقم كاتاوا بكتاوي لي بشرر شلامة ماني شقم كاتاوا حضوري لي قاقو ياما ماني شقم كاتاوا برخشة دو خد خاقة لاما ماني شقم كاتاوا مياتم كبنا هلخو تاما ماني خداء توتا بشلة بريتا من شورايا خداء توتا يولى مملا على هايا خداء توتا شوقلا الناشا قاربايا خداء توتا انهم زملا باري ناشا 
بروخ خطة بغرخات عطورايا أي آتوتا ربي وليم إلى مارو بكل إيقارة كدخزيلا بقى لمطورة وبقاطينة أو جبارة كدشميلا ببرسقالة أو قامايا بكل دومارة كدر إشلا جمهديانا شاروية لبخابو قارة إيمن إيمن بتاوي قدا أمتا ريشانوتا إيمن بتاوي قدا ألما كسبايوتا إيمن بتاوي قدا الناشي شلمانوتا إيمن بتاوي قدا أما خداخيروتا إيمن إيمن دهمزم ملتا كلا بشتاقيلا إيمن دارش خكمتا كلا بسغاديلا إيمن تقنقن أي قيطارة بزضايلا وإيمن تكاتو كل يضعتا مودويلا رابي وليم ها من جلدي بقراية ود قاخو يادا قاخو يادا ها من جلدي بزماري ود بطخي روتم خد شعبادا مخد شعبادا ها من جلدي بكتاوي ود بيتو المادا بيتو المادا اي ود سهدا سهدا خايا يمرمت قالا قاخو داتا قاخو داتا قاخو داتا We talked about what Safe Center U.S. is doing in the United States and the recognition of the 48 states that have recognized uh, the genocide. Recently, I believe last week, you received a letter from President Donald Trump. Can you talk a little bit about that? You know, Ram Rama, we try to reach many politicians, many organizations in order to raise, to make our voice heard in America. One of them is the President Trump. And a few months ago, Safe Center, we, together with Dr. Ran Susek, Susek Foundation, we, uh, we sent a letter to Mr. Trump. Uh, every day they receive about 30, 40,000 letters, and they don't reply to all of them. But we were lucky. At least he replied. He sent a letter uh, to me as Safe Center uh, representative in the U.S., and I'm very thankful for that. Uh, and we will try to continue to reach its administration. Our goal is uh, Mr. Trump to use the term SAFO and U.S. to recognize the Assyrian, Armenian, and Greek genocide. And we will do it. Oh, Marfono, uh, my father was part of a SAFO center. He was honorary ambassador. Um, can you talk about how you remember my dad within working with the SAFO Center? Yeah, it is so difficult to speak about Melfono Ninos. Uh, I know Melfono Ninos Aho since 2003. Until he passed away, every week we used to speak four, five, six times. And what I remember him, uh, you know there are some people when we have many challenges, they complain about many things. And, but Melfuno uh, Saho, I never, I never heard any sentence from him that he was complaining all the time. He was ready to work harder. And this is what I remember from Melfuno Nino Saho. And second, we were together in many places in Germany, in Sweden, in the Netherlands, in Australia. All the times he has the luggage with him was half of the luggage was medication. But still, Melfono Nino Saho was very strong. And after the, until the last minute he passed away, we had a contact. And I miss him every single day. Thank this you. is what I remember Thank from Melfono Nino Saho. Thank you, Melfono. Uh, my dad was very... Uh, my dad wanted to empower the youth and empower the Assyrians yeah. so that we don't lose our identity. Um, how can the youth of today, because we are in the diaspora, how can our Assyrian community um, help 
with the SAFO Center? How can they support you and where can they go to learn more about yeah. SAFO? You know also Malfono Nino Saho was pointing out all the time that SAFO bring our people together and what we are trying uh, regardless our church affiliation, political background, but through safer work, we bring all these people together. And uh, our youth, they are very important. They, we have our website, and there are many scholarly uh, publications in our website, which is published in four different languages, uh, German, uh, Turkish, Swedish, and English. Uh, our youth, they can go and visit our website, uh, Safo Center official website. Also, we have two uh, Facebook pages to, for Safo Center. All our activities, they are published there. We publish books, articles. We are doing documentaries, TV show like now, uh, and presentation that we go around. Uh, this is the way we want to educate our youth. Is there anything else, Marfona, that you would like to add that I didn't ask you about? Uh, it's very heavy work. Uh, our population is very small. Uh, majority of our people, they are bystanders. They don't act, they don't move. Uh, but there are few people, they are doing their best. Uh, if in order to reach our goal, we need more people and we need better financial support. This is what I want to see. Thank you, Marfono, for taking the time to talk to us today Todi, and for sir. all of your hard work, Todi. 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 To our viewers, I just want to thank you for taking the time to watch our video and our interview and to please get involved. We are a very small community. We are scattered throughout the world. We don't have one country. The more that you do to support organizations like Safo Center and the more you do if you don't have the time, you don't have the money, just by acknowledging that you're a Syrian when you talk to others and letting people know that we still exist is very important. Thank you once again. Thank you. And we are going to go to the house of بتجاوب لك بشاري روت لا تيارايا ولا تخمنايا لا بني دشتا ولا بني طورة يا قوبايا وكلدانايا ونسطرنايا وفروس بترايا أبزي ليون قال راما بطامر قاتخ أختي إيون أطورايا إينا من هدية خانو هارا يا ونقاتو خونيا عطورا يا الدنيا قد اها ايدا قد اها شهدا بقراي لقاتو خون خيديتو شوتاشي بانيتو مزاغا قا عطورا يا خاتا بانيتو قد بتريع البيو خمشي عطور قيبا